to Derek Plays. Our next episode of Derek Plays, we are going to be playing Warpath Jurassic Park, an old PlayStation game, which is basically Jurassic Park meets Mortal Kombat. Best way I can describe it, and um, I have not played this game in years, so this should be pretty interesting. Okay, um, let's go. And I promise this commentary is going to be a lot better than Wolfenstein. And yes, that was a lightning background from Final Fantasy XIII, because... Da -da -da. To date, it's still the best intro for any PlayStation ever. Black Ops Entertainment. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, one of my childhood games. Let's see what we got here. T-Rex are awesome. What do we got for audio? I this is a lot of nice. Oh yeah, back when uh, Triangle was to go back for everything. I never quite figured that out, why they changed that. Uh, let's see. Now I have beaten this game a long time ago, so I think I'm gonna start a new game. a real noob with this game. I literally made it so it's like I could just kill the dinosaur one time and there you go, I won. Uh... Yeah, everything has a sound effect in this game, I remember that. Every single thing has a sound effect. Why is there a Brachiosaurus in the background about to smash the entrance to Jurassic Park? That never happened in the movie. Even the books didn't have that. It's been a while since I played this game, so give me a minute. Okay, so I guess what this is saying is I gotta reload the game just to start from the beginning because I didn't unload the memory card. But uh, for you, I just want to show you the unlockables because I mean, if I already beat the game, there's not much point in actually playing it, so I can't really comment on it. But um, practice mode. Basically, what you'll have is you have your carnivores, you have your herbivores. And then you have six unlockable dinosaurs, which when you unlock them, you unlock six maps to play on. And your unlockable dinosaurs are Macarlontosaurus, Pachycephalosaurus, Spinosaurus, uh, Chirosynthosaurus, uh, Triceratops, and uh, Albertosaurus. All the other dinosaurs on top are already unlocked, and you can play as them from the get-go, but you can 
also unlock costumes from all the dinosaurs in survival mode. So we're going to reset the game so we can start from the beginning. But I guess I'll show you the museum quick, it's pretty cool. So I'm actually really... Welcome to the Jurassic Park Dinosaur Gallery. Here we can pick some of the dinosaurs you might encounter in our park. We've spared no expense to provide you the most accurate recreations of these prehistoric marbles. Through the modern wonder of genetic engineering, we are able to bring you the sights, sounds, and unique traits of each of the species in Jurassic Park. While you should note that no dinosaur is harmless, he is also not invulnerable. Basically, it's a really cool feature to actually educate people with a video game. I mean, I actually learned a lot from this game. Uh, let's see. That's our, our Acrocanthosaurus. Acrocanthosaurus. Tells you how to say the name. You can select his alternate costume. Or skin. Shows you his family that he's part of. Time period he lived. And his weight. Let's see, we got Giganotosaurus. There's a lot of dinosaurs in this game. Giganotosaurus. Uh, we got Mega Raptor and, um,. I'll actually listen to that one because it's actually pretty interesting about the raptor. Mega Raptor. My favorite. Tyrannosaurus Rex. That's your original Jurassic Park T Rex, and here's Lost World. Hell. Never get tired of that noise. Let's hear some facts. The Tyrannosaurus Rex was one of the largest carnivores ever to walk the earth. It could measure up to 14 meters in length and was about 6 meters tall. It could weigh up to 6,350 kilograms. Its enormous hind legs made its tiny arms seem even smaller by comparison. The name of this carnivorous biped means Tyrant Lizard King. The Tyrannosaurus Rex roamed the Earth roughly 70 million years ago, during the Cretaceous period. The Tyrannosaurus Rex is a member of the Theropod family. Oh, I hate this fucking thing. Stigemola. This thing is a fucking terror to fight in this game. I mean, you know how cheap Shao Kahn is in the new Mortal Kombat from 2011? Yeah, that's Shao Kahn right there. The Stigemola, which means demon from the river Styx, was a dome-headed bipedal herbivore. At only two meters long and one meter tall, the Stigemola made up for its size with its ferocity. Its name is derived from the dozens of demonic-looking spikes surrounding its dome. The Stigemolok lived during the late Cretaceous period, about 65 to 76 million years ago. The Stigemolok is a member of the Ornithischia order. That looks pretty good. Sukumimus is a pain in the ass to fight this game because. He can break any block and attack. That's awesome. I think you guys get the point of the museum, but uh... You don't want to see the museum, do you? You want to see the actual freaking dinosaur fights. Well, let's do it. I'm gonna start with my favorite dinosaur, of course. Always choose this Styracosaurus the first time you play the game. <laughs> that load screen's pretty hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Now let's see if I still remember the combos. <laughs> Uh, 
Final one. Fight! Oh, shit! Holy crap! As you can see, I just ate a person that regenerated my health. Like at some point I was when the guy was on the ground, I was doing some weird thing. There is an attack you can do where you can actually attack them while they're on the ground and keep like it keeps going over and over the longer you hold it. And you can pretty much if you cheat it right, you can do the whole thing. You can kill them when they're on the ground one more time. I didn't know dinosaurs could leap like that. <gasps> it's totally Battle like, one. Fight. How you doing? That was the attack, I just gotta remember how the hell to do it. As a kid, that attack frustrated me. Oh, watch this, watch this. Watch this. Ah, oh, damn it, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on! Yeah! Victory. I get into this shit. take like minutes, sometimes they would take minutes. Cause I mean for a fighting game on the PS1, you gotta admit this is pretty pretty up to advance at the time. I mean Mortal Kombat I don't think was three dimensional yet. Oh this guy's so easy. Don't you love the mega see that's why it's called Mega Rap. T-Rex owns your ass, bitch. Destructible co environment, ladies and gentlemen. Take the copy. Victory. What? Battle two. Fight. Come on, 
on. Rage mode, come on. seem easy but I'm pretty sure it's not easy but, um, it can be hard at times and very unforgiving oh crap uh, this just might be that example of unforgiving because no other dinosaur in this game goes to rage mode quicker than the stitchy moment that thing is really the demon from the river sticks Battle one. Fight! Kill him as quickly as possible because he look, looks already up two things in the rage mode already. Oh, come on, you gotta get him on the bones. to Ankylosaurus. Not as much as Stitchy Molmac, but he is a bastard nonetheless. <laughs> My cousin Cody used to always play as him. It was so fun. Battle one. Fight! Of course, you know, he's got great. That's the biggest thing about his attacks, is they got range. Nope, no, 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 damn it! Nope. It's also hard to attack him because the spikes at the top of his back do actually hurt you. Awesome. Oh. You imagine the dinosaurs in the movies could actually do this shit? Battle 2. Fight! I don't think so, bitch. See what I mean? I can't, just by hitting him on the top, I can get hurt by the spikes. that has the unique attack that no other dinosaur has and he can pretty much if you block he can break it He's, his attacks are unblockable battle one fight no no get up get up look I came and lift him up over me I don't think so, fucker. Victory. Oh. I've had like heart palpitations in this game. 
like fighting games, hunt this game down. I'm pretty sure it's not that expensive. Because I don't think it was a hugely popular game, but it needs to be popular again, man. It's such a good game, in my opinion. Like, this easily has a few, as several hours of gameplay. You get your friends together, man. You play some intense matches of this shit. It's, oh, I love this match. This map is awesome. Interactive oh, cover, man. We did it before Mortal Kombat. Those electronic arts used to be awesome. That's why. Oh, yeah. Final stage. I believe this is, will be on my stage, I'm pretty sure. The T Rex. You always fight the final boss on your own stage. Not that it really matters. Yep, my stage. But the T Rex breaks out of the pad. Out of I don't want. Fight! <laughs> Secret. Oh yeah, that's right. You unlock the modes first, then you unlock the character. It's, I forgot. And here's the end credits. Do we really care about these? Not really. See, now you have choice and uh, survival unlocked. Now, um... Arcade, like I said, is how you unlock characters and stages. Survival is how you get alternate skins for your dinosaurs. So, I 
guess we will do survival and I think I'll wrap up this because I mean there really isn't a whole lot to the game but I'm telling you right now it's a fun game now, hold on let me just see the T-Rex quick in arcade to the bears worth seeing yep you can see the V that means I won now if you get an F that means you got a flawless because there is flawless in this game flawless victory I do want to do some practice. I've got to figure out how to do that stupid move. I swear I got to. Uh, let's see. I'll... Fight Cyracosaurus. I, I want to figure out how to do that move. You saw it briefly, but I want to figure out how to do it myself. It's like really weird button. Like you can press like all the buttons at once or some shit. I don't know how to do it exactly. It was, it was always my pure luck as a kid I could do it, but I could do it very often. Whenever I could do it to my cousins, they always got pissed off. Cheap attack. I got it, man. I got this. Circle and X. I got it. I know this game, man. I know this game. This is the first game I ever learned combos to. The only game I really have ever since. Oh, I got it. Alright, let's do survival and I'll wrap it up for this session. We will play as Sukumai Mr. Rentis. Just because he's really cheap. He's really cheap. Jigga. The Jigga is going to touch your Jigger. Yeah, I went there. <laughs> I love these on screens. Now, here's the thing in survival, though. Every match, your health does not regenerate. And you have to fight every single dinosaur. So you better stay alive as long as possible. Final battle. Fight! And they show no mercy in this game. And look how long range that is. See what I mean? How cheap that move is. When I find, my cousins could never figure out how to do it. But back in the day when I figured out how to do it, they got so pissed at me they didn't want to play with me anymore because I did that to them every time. And when you're fighting your own character, if you keep doing that, it doesn't stop the attack. The attack won't stop and they can keep clicking all their buttons all they want, it won't stop them. That's what's so awesome about it. Alright, I gotta get some health in this match, otherwise I'm screwed. Because they always save Stitchy Mac for last. Final battle. Fight! Well, that wasn't very smart. In survival mode, I think I'm gonna... Here's the thing though, if you're gonna play survival mode, you get all these dinosaurs that you already have unlocked before you start unlocking more, because if you unlock all of them then do survival mode, you're never gonna beat it. Because that means you have to play every single dinosaur. You're not gonna do it. I mean, look, I'm already half dead.
attack in order to beat these guys in survival mode. You have to. I'm gonna die next round. It's gonna be stitchy moment, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's where you have to fight yourself. Half an hour? I ain't that bad. Final battle. Fight! Oh, yeah, I'm so screwed. survived this long. I really have no clue. Ah, oh, yeah, T-Rex is gonna totally kill my ass. Oh, we can see the T-Rex graphic. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. No, I'm dead. The only thing that makes Zuko so good is his attacks are ranged. Like he has good range. I don't know how I'm still alive, I have no clue. How am I still alive? Once I fight Stitchy Momak, like I'm dead, I'm telling you. He will kill me. He will go rage mode and he will wipe my ass. Or... Or, no, that's wrong. Um, he will wipe his ass with my ass. Final battle. Fight! More Ankylosaurus will kill you. Yep. Game over. Well, guys, I guess I can't show you how to unlock the skin, but you get the point. You fight all the dinosaurs, and after you do that, you get an alternate skin like the Stitchy Mo like the Scoop. Sukumimus, I would have got the green one. As you can see, but, uh. That's, I guess I can show you team quick. I mean, choice is exactly what it sounds. You choose who you want to fight, blah, 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 blah. Simple as that. But, uh, team... I guess I can show you team quick. Oh, you need a two-player for that. Alright, I guess I can. So, uh... Yeah, guys, that's uh, about everything I got to show for Warpath. Um... Still got three more Jurassic Park games to do before next Friday, and um, I will definitely get to them. So, uh, let's wrap this up by uh, saying thanks for watching the second episode of Derek Watches. I hope it was much better than the first one, because you can see I was really getting into it. And, um, 
yeah, I hope I can keep doing these, uh, and keep them coming, um, so make sure to comment and subscribe, and, uh, I will see you all next time. Peace out.